What is up guys? It's Razor. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age for the PS4. In the previous episode we took on the Esper Zolera. And in this episode we're going to take on Ku Chu Lane. Or Cuckoo Lane or however you pronounce it. So... To fight this particular Esper, you gotta go down into the Garamsai waterway. And you gotta do a little bit of a, like a puzzle, I guess you could say, to try to get to him. So, first things first, we wanna make sure number 10 is lit up and number 3 is lit up. That's the first step. So let's go ahead and close this one right here. Alright, so number 10 and number 3 are lit up. We're good to go. None of the other ones are lit up, as you can tell. Just these two. And make our way, let's see, is it... I think it's this one right here. And there's enemies down there, as you can tell. New enemy there too, by the way. It died so fast, I couldn't even read its name. And these enemies we already fought earlier. Lizards. Whatever. Take them out fairly fast. Going down here, make sure there's no treasure chest. Alright. So let's go over here. Examine this. Close the sluice gate. Okay, now we got to go back to where we were at before. Back over here. And we need to light up the other two now. And then open these other ones. So the other two will be lit up and these two won't be. Yeah, and you have to sit through this animation every time. It's a bit annoying, but just how it is. And you're not you're not allowed to skip it either. You have to watch the animation. So, all right. So let's light up these two. Alright, so now these two are lit up, and the other two are not lit up. That's what you want. Now we want to head, um, I think, to this one, if I'm not mistaken. And more enemies. Well, I was trying to see what the undead's called, but it keeps dying too fast. Uh, Gasperist, 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 something like that. I don't know. Anyway, it's nothing special about it. You can flick a bunch of status elements on you, and apparently, you can. It drops a book of Orgain. 
I don't know what a Book of Orgain is, but... Oh yeah, they can flick Doom on you too, which is annoying. But... Alright, anyway. Let's activate this one over here. Then we gotta go back to the central area again. And we're almost done here. And I'm gonna have to go around. Shoot, I didn't want to go that way. Back. My characters keep getting me confused because they keep running off to attack. There we go. Okay, so now what we want to do, you want to close this one, or open this one, should I say? And then we want to close the other one. So we have this one. Lit up over here. Now we want to light up this one right here. So then, those two will be lit up and the other two won't be. And now here's where you want to save it because this particular Esper is fairly difficult. Like, it's not a pushover, let's just say that. So we definitely want to save it real quick. And then we'll go take it on. Now let's see, uh... I don't think it matters which one we enter from. Um, it's one of these two though. Alright, well let's just go through this one then, I guess. I don't think it really matters, but... If, we have, if, it, if this doesn't lead to where we gotta go, we'll just go the other path. I think we're good though. It basically spawns down there. Yeah, right when we go down here is where it'll spawn. I want to just before we start the battle, I want to this play this particular uh, Esper. Uh, there's a constant sap effect. Uh, you can't get rid of the sap effect; it's permanent once you enter the battle against it. And it'll zap your HP. The higher your HP is, the more it'll sap. So it doesn't matter if you have 9,999 HP or 9 HP. It doesn't matter. It, it's going to sap equivalent to how much you have. So if you have 9,999, it's going to sap a lot more than what it would if you have 9. But I don't know why you'd have 9 HP. I'm just giving, using that as, as an example. So basically don't equip bubble belts. Because they're not going to do anything. It's going to be completely useless to equip a bubble belt. So. So just keep your HP how it is. Don't worry about your HP. Don't, don't use bubble belts or anything like that. To augment your HP. Because it's not going to do anything. Alright, with that said, let's go ahead and take it on.
And it's boss time against Koo Choo Lane or Cuckoo Lane or however you pronounce this thing's name because I have no clue how to pronounce it. So let's see, let's have Boss use uh, the spell mode on it because it has a bunch of... Oh yeah, and I want to equip uh, black belts on all my characters. I should have done this sooner, I guess, but black belt. Uh, black belt and black belt. The reason is because it uses a sable. Uh, why did the spell mode not work? Yeah, and it comes, it spawns these uh, foo bars as well. But yeah, like I mentioned earlier. Um, there's a constant sap effect and it's pretty potent as well. I should have brought out my mage's party because I'm going to need to heal. But the problem is I can't switch. So we're just going to have to, this party is going to have to die I guess. There's no way I'm going to be able to keep up. Yeah. I'm going to use quickening zone it probably but I want to get my party ready or my party out there that I need. I should have been using this party that I was using before. Uh, you kind of need healers in this uh, because you need Kira. Actually Kiraga is better or not Kiraga but Kiraja is better. So yeah, I don't know what I was thinking having the other party. Wasn't a very good idea. So let me change Cura to Cura Ja. And then she can keep Cura. I don't want to use quickening only if I don't have to, but it might be a little bit annoying if I don't. Cause this sap of look at this sap effect though. Look how insane that is. Like you literally have to constantly heal or you're just gonna die. That's how potent that is. And why are you casting, um, why are you casting Aqua for, uh, Fran? Uh, where's Drain at? Actually, I'll just use Shock, I think. I don't need Drain. Drain's for noobs. Drain is for noobs. Just use Shock, lol. Yeah, I really don't want to cheese the boss with uh, quickenings. I really don't. Especially when I do all bosses video, people don't want to see that crap. Uh, people don't want to see. People don't want to see other people cheese bosses. I mean, it's just not something people want to see. At least that's how I feel, anyway. So I'd rather just do it the hard way. Oh god, that's Sloga. That's like super annoying. I believe this boss also has Invert as well. 
and invert's really annoying because it swaps your HP if you're MP. But we almost got it anyway. Got it. Nice. So yeah, very, fairly easy if you have like a mage party, but if you're like using physical fighters and you have to rely on using potions, you just never, you'll never make it. So just use a mage party and you'll be fine. And get Kira Ja. I'd recommend have Kira Ja instead of Kira. Uh, because Kira Ja obviously heals a lot more. So, there you go. Got it. You obtain the Esper Ku Chu Lane the Impure. All right, glad that's out of the way. Let's go ahead and give it to somebody. Okay, so first things first, let's figure out who, what it's blocking. Okay, it's not blocking anything for Vaughn. Uh, let's see, where's it at? Okay, it's blocking Bertetga and Shelga for Shikari. That's actually not too bad. So that's definitely highly up, that's highly on my consideration list. But we'll see what else we can get before that. Nothing for Fran. Uh, for Ball the Ear, or for Boss, it's blocking Stamp. Uh, that's actually kind of useless. I'm not. I ain't worried about that. Uh, Foe Breaker, not blocking anything. Uh, for night, it's blocking battle lore. Oh, whew. Well, I don't really have Ashy's attacks that often. And it's also blocking Libra for white mage, which is useless. And then for time battle mage, nothing. Uh, red battle mage, it's blocking two things. Fyraga Thunaga. Blizzaga and Sleepga. Uh, but I don't usually have Pinello cast black magic all that much. So yeah, it's either between Pinello or she gets Fire Rock and Thunaga or Blizzaga and Sleepga or it's uh, uh, Shikari where she, he can get Protecta and Shelga. I think I'll give it to uh, Baldi Ear. I'd rather have Protect Gun Shelga. Instead of uh, them high level spells. You're not really going to use them high level spells that often. Let me see. Let's bring out Ash. Arise, Vaughn. Arise, Baldir. Let's see, Arise, Bosch. There we go, let's get that party back. 
Let's see if there's any treasures around here or anything. Nope. Doesn't like there's anything. Let's go take on the earth earth tyrant, shall we? I forget I took on it a long time ago. But I never got around to it. <laughs> so we're going to pretty much kill this thing in like a, like a minute probably. Oh well. Anyway, to fight the Earth Tyrant, we had to head to the Wester Sands. Go ahead and save it at the south gate here, though, and then we'll head on over there. Obviously, I don't want it to. I want to save it because I don't want it to fight Cuckoo Lane again if I if the power goes out or something bad happens. I don't know if you have to trigger any cutscenes before you leave to go fight it or not. I don't remember. I think it just shows up though. You know. Maybe I gotta talk to this uh, bunga right here. Sure, I'll help. All right, let's go find that guy. He's at the fountain. It said, the dude said at the fountain up here. Alright, storehouse five. Alright. Let's go talk to him. I think you have to do this in order to fight the Earth Tyrant. Uh, but I could be wrong. Yeah, like I said, we could have fought it a lot sooner. I don't know why. I didn't, but... Wait, where's Storehouse 5? Honestly, not even sure where Storehouse 5 is. I think it's up this way, though. Oh, I think it's where that one door is over there.
No, this is private. Maybe it's over here. Kites. Hmm. Storehouse five. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I'm basically just going around examining all the people. See if I can find the person's name that I'm supposed to look for. Hmm. I just don't remember. Like, maybe it's in here. I don't know. Can't remember where it's at. Uh, storehouse five, where is it even at? Doesn't even show up on the map. I thought it was over where we're kites in the Marat, but it's not. Oh, here he is, right here. Heard my half head west in the Western Sands, and you'll come across a dead end with these giant dinosaur cactuses. All right. So let's go out to the Western Sands. And see if we can't find that uh, one half of the uh, weather vane or whatever it is. Wind vane. I'm going to go talk to the guy at the fountain too. Northwest of the shimmering horizons, okay. All right, we'll head on over there. I'm obviously going to be fighting all the enemies around here as well. Oh yeah, I got a couple cat ear hoods.
just to rack up some money. way Go way down here there's a sandstorm out there's probably gonna be in tights around here oh but we could be in tights at this point that's not that big of a deal It's at the northwest. Yep, speaking of entites, there's an entite right there. We can go ahead and take it out though. Uh, I can't have the Holy Lance equipped though because... It has uh, immunity to it. So I guess I'll equip the halberd. All right, in tight. Let's go. Oh crap, I forgot I don't have really have many um I don't have any X potions or anything. We gotta rely on high potions unfortunately. That's all I have. Forgot to buy X potions. Yeah, I really, I really need um, X potions. I can't survive with this group without X potions. Unfortunately, there's just no way. But Fran can take it out easily enough. Bit annoying though. See, I'm just looking around for that. Wind vein. Let's see. I might have to look it up if I can't find it. I 
So I don't understand. It said northwest, and I I booked to the northwest, and I can't find it. All right, let me look it up again. Wow, it's not even in the Shimmering Horizons. It's in the Wind Trace Dunes, in that dead end over there. <laughs> so it's in this zone over here. Okay, must be in another one. All right, got the wind globe. All right. All right, so I think we got to return to talk to them, I think. Because we only got one half of it. We need the other half. Okay, he's not there. Let me go see if he's by where the bonga is. Or maybe he's down in storehouse 5. Yeah, here they are. Past them. You obtained a wind vane. Alright, so I don't think I'm going to need to save it. So let's just go ahead and head on to fight the Earth Tyrant. I think at this point I should be able to take it out. But I think in order to fight it you have to get that wind vane or whatever. Uh, but obviously don't quote me on that. I should probably revive my other characters just in case though. It's always nice to have a backup party just in case. So let me go ahead and revive my other characters. Let's go ahead and do a rise, 
Vaughn. Arise, Baldir. And arise. Bosh. And for some reason the rise didn't go off on um Vaughn for some reason. I need to set up a uh, faith instead of bravery. Ethers. There we go. All right, so let's take on the Earth Tyrant. And it's op optional boss time against the Earth Tyrant. It's going to be very easy because we're a little bit over leveled for this particular uh, boss. But let's take it out. Well, I could have fought this thing a lot sooner, but yeah. Oh well. Yeah, I legit can't even do any damage to us. Yeah, super easy at my current level. Like, I literally could have fought it way earlier in the game. So yeah, my bad about that. Not really much I could do about it. I, f I forgot to take it on earlier. Yeah, just know it's... Just know it's a lot harder than what I made it out to be. Especially if you fight it way earlier on in the game. I think that was the first boss I've been over leveled on too. So far. All right, so let's look around. See if there's any treasure chest around here or anything. And let's make our way this way. See where this leads to. I don't even remember. Okay, at least the Esther Sands. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Fight these enemies. I'm not sure what we're going to do in the next episode. Maybe get another Esper, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Um... But I am going to end the video here. We're going to go across the river. Skip. And get to the save point. And thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. And later.